Hello everyone and welcome to my video tutorial on introduction to graph theory using Python and NetworkX. This is the synopsis of a course and this synopsis is important for those who are taking the course in the classroom as a coursework. My name is Innocent Okoloko. General course requirements. The course will introduce classical graph theory using Python and NetworkX. Requirements for participants. You should have a, a Windows computer or a Mac PC, Windows 10 minimum preferably, with a working installation of Python. Internet connectivity is sometimes required because we will be installing some items as we move along, but not always required. A knowledge of ordinary level mathematics is generally desirable for you to be able to understand graph theory. Overall cost objectives. The course will explain the concepts of classical graph theory and a little bit of modern network theory. We'll apply the concepts of graph theory to solve real life problems. Explain the concepts of network X library in Python develop, draw, analyze graphs using Python and also with Network X programming. Overall learning outcomes. At the end of a course, participants should be able to install Network X and other required packages in the Python programming environment on a computer. Explain and analyze some of the concepts and terminologies of network stroke graph theory. Generate graphs to represent various things and situations. Draw graphs by hand and also by using the Network X computational tool. Identify and analyze problems in society that can be solved by graph theory. Develop graph theoretic algorithms to solve the problems analyzed. Convert the algorithms to computer programs using Network X library in Python. Content Introduction to Graph Theory Basic Set Theory because an understanding of set theory is required to actually understand graph theory, the details of graph theory. Graphs and Digraphs Graph Connectivity Eulerian and Hamiltonian Graphs Optimization involving trees, shortest path problems, flows, connectivity and combinatorics, matchings and factors, graph embeddings, graph coloring. The work plan for this course, for those who are taking the course in the classroom or as a coursework, could be like this. The methodology is going to be classical and project based learning methodologies so we teach the way a classroom setting takes place normally and uh, there will be a project for the course one or more projects there will be theory sessions which will involve digital presentation using powerpoint and a projector and also with a whiteboard for writing emphasis will be placed on exercises which will come along during the period of the course and application problems that will help to aid in the understanding of the course. There will be laboratory work which will be carried out where algorithms will be designed, programs will be written, analyzed and implemented based on the concepts we've learned in the classrooms. The laboratory sessions will be graded and the grades will be called L. Where computer labs are now available, students could use their personal computers or mobile devices to complete the assignments in their own pace subject to required submission deadlines. A network graph solution software design project will be carried out, possibly a group project, by using network X with Python to solve a problem. Items to be delivered include a project summary report in a PDF format, a presentation in PowerPoint and the codes of the project in a zip file. 
This will be tested. Good performance, presentation, and report will be evaluated, and the grade associated with the project will be called P. There will also be one classroom test, and the result will be called T. And there will be a final examination in the last week of the course. The evaluation involves the theory part and the practical part. So for the theory part, one test will be 10% of the course. The final exam will be 60% of the course, which makes up 70% of the course. For the laboratory and project, which are the practical parts of the course, the lab sessions will be 15% while the project will also be 15%, which makes a total of 30%, and that makes 100% of the course. Recommended test books, Graph Theory from Charms Outline Series by Balakrishnan VK, and uh, you can see the ISBN here, and the link to Amazon Bookshop. For the programming side, using Python and Network X, We'll be looking at uh, Network Science with Python and Network X by Edward L. Platt. And that's the link to Amazon. The second book will be the book of Philip Mensa, the first course in Network Science. And that's the link on Amazon. Other study materials, you will find YouTube video tutorials like the one I'll, I'll be presenting for this course, and numerous online tutorials. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much, and see you in the next class, which will be the first lecture of the course.